Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make 3D city with 3D movements and I'm going to show you how it works. I already draw the the sprite and the costume. So the first costume has the cars and everything, and the next costume has the squares to make the buildings. So I draw some squares, and in the next one I added some windows in that squares. And now let's start. So go to code and now when the green flag's clicked, it should go to this position. So I'll just go to motion and then take this go to block and then I'll set the sides, I'll set the size to 50. So I set the size to the, no need to make it this much. I'll make it, maybe this much is enough. Okay, so now it should switch, switch the costume to costume one, which is this, this one. And then, and then it should, it should create a clone. I'll just increase the size thing to 100. It should create a clone and then and then and then to make the flat I have to keep a repeat block. Keep a repeat block which is like it should repeat five times and should also switch the costume to the the second costume which is these uh, squares and then it should it should change size by one and it should also create a clone so it will be like this and now duplicate this part And then change this to the third costume. Okay, now it got the windows. So to make it faster, I'll just separate this thing and then make a make a block. It should be floor. Floor and then keep this keep this one and then it can be number and then click run without screen refresh and then click on OK and then take this block and keep it here and then take a repeat block and keep it here take this and then keep it here so now if so if i keep this one here and keep it five the flat will have five flows so i'll make it i want the 10 flows so i'll just keep it 10 here so it will have 10 flows okay this is how i want and now and now just and now I need to duplicate this and then delete all the code here and then go to the costume and delete these two. We only need this costume and 
and now and just name this hitbox and then i'll just I'll just hide this so it'll be looking good and now okay i have to hide this and also you have to keep a show block here and a hide here and now go here and then when the green flags click it should move everywhere so keep an if block and then take this when key pressed and then it should first when we click the up arrow key it should change y by minus 5 and then when i uh, and when i press the down key should go it should change y by 5 and also do it for the left and right and when i click right should do this but i have to keep it keep x here i have to keep minus 5 and 5 Here, with change y by change x by five, and then and then a left, keep a left here, and so this code will make the this hit box move everywhere. And now go here, and then take a green flag option, not a green flag option. Just take this when I start as a clone. and then forever to do this so when so first keep a set x and then set y then take this this multiply option and a divide option here go to looks and then keep one size and then go to sensing and then take this and then choose it box here and then choose size here and keep it here and then duplicate this and keep keep it here and then it should be hit box it should be hit box and x position here and duplicate this and put it in the y position and then Also change this to Y position, and then let's see how this works. Okay, looks so 3D. And one more thing you can add here. Go to the backdrops and just pick one. Just select a square, and then just draw one green square here to make the ground and. That's it.